directed at you young people day before yesterday i started a series bible and modern science i have already made two postings and within a few minutes i'll get my net and i'll do the third posting and we will be posting a number of uh, lessons brief very brief you can all what i write you can read in 5 or 5 minutes or less so please get link to me and please read what every day try to read what i write for you okay these days i am writing on bible and science some excellent lessons now two days ago i wrote there is no error in the bible since bible is god's word and since god is all knowing he is not the author of confusion therefore there is no error in the bible and one of the biggest theologians from india he came to facebook and he opposed me on my face he said no you are wrong do people oppose doctrine do people oppose bible do people oppose biblical truths the answer is yes okay how did i handle it you will have to come to facebook to see that <laughs> i did handle him i handled him well and finally i demonstrated that he was wrong then he immediately changed his tune and he said listen i am not a conservative what does it mean i am not a conservative it means i am a christian but i don't believe in the bible he said i was a, i used to be a conservative today i am not a conservative i told him in my childhood i was a doubter i was a skeptic and from that i became a conservative that's the way the discussion went on but this is an illustration from a, from this modern world that people do oppose biblical truths they do oppose doctrine they say they are christians they are proud that they are christians but they take pride in opposing the bible so do people oppose bible doctrine yes point 8 let us read the first verse i know that after i leave savage wolves will come in among you what is what is the aim of the wolf when he attacks a pack or a flock flock of sheep to tear them apart isn't it that is why it says i know that after i live savage wolves will come in among you and will not spare the flock they will attack the flock yes people do attack bible people do attack christians people do attack christian truths let's go to the last verse point 8 the last verse for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine so on one side there are people who would like to destroy us they oppose doctrine on the other side are we for the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine a time is going to come when christians would not be able to endure they don't want to endure they don't like to endure they do not like to read they don't like to enjoy the scriptures my dear young friends the younger ones and also the older ones uh, have we come to a generation or have we come to times when we are no longer able to enjoy the scripture one reason or one reason or another let me put it this way you have the bible the whole bible in your hands if there is anyone here who doesn't have a bible please raise your hands every one of you has a bible isn't it my goodness how times have changed when i was your age i did not have a bible bible was a luxury in my childhood it used to cost a lot it used to cost a fortune because offset printing was not common it was very rare. it was not available in india bibles had to be printed in england and they had to be imported at that time i am talking about 1950s 
and 1960s i also want to remind you my young friends i was a voracious reader in my childhood i learned alphabet myself no teacher taught it my dad just wrote it on on a slate probably you haven't even seen a slate they were made of a kind of stone if you dropped it it would break he just wrote one a b c d he wrote one two three up to 100 gave it to me i memorized and then he taught me how to pronounce that's the way and very soon i picked up reading i was a, as i said i was a voracious reader when i was 5 i was reading books which children 15 years old were reading but books were not available when i was 15 i did not have a bible can you imagine that and here there are many children who have more than one bible isn't it i was 16 when i pleaded with my dad for my first bible he said son we cannot afford it can you imagine that and then a christian bookshop gave him a gift voucher for 20 rupees let me remind you 20 rupees is such a small amount that in a if you get into the lowest level of a hotel you cannot get a lunch if you go to a medium level hotel you cannot get a tea for 20 rupees and in my generation 20 rupees meant so much that a family could easily survive for a whole week on that amount finally when someone gave a 20 rupee voucher a christian bookshop gave a 20 rupee voucher my dad gave that voucher to me he said go and buy a bible at the age of 16 i went to the bookshop and the hindi bible at that time used to cost 20 rupees they were pleased that i wanted a bible they gave me a discount and they gave me this bible for 18 rupees i still have that bible with me how many of you will have to wait up to 16 to get your first bible well by the time you are 16 you would have a couple of bibles particularly if you are a devoted student of the scripture okay so availability is there but is commitment there let me ask you how many of you read the bible regularly you don't have to raise your hands you may say uncle i read it regularly then my second question is how many of you read the whole of the bible at least in one year you may say johnson uncle that might be the biggest joke this morning who can read the whole bible in one year such a massive book well the joke is not on me the joke is on you do you know that if you read the bible a mere 15 minutes a day then you would be able to read the whole of the bible in one year it takes less than 85 let's say 90 it takes less than 90 hours to read the whole bible that's 15 minutes per day that's all if you don't read the whole bible at least once per year that means you are not devoting even 15 minutes per day to reading the bible do you know the reason that's the verse page 5 the verse on top for time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine a time is going to come when we are unable to endure we are unable to accept sound teaching of the scripture therefore we find out one excuse or another to keep away from the scripture not over the verse says but after their own lusts shall they heap to themselves teachers because they have itching ears oh you may say johnson uncle i have not gathered unto me any kind of teacher um let me ask you how many of you never view television raise your hands how many of you never read television 
how many of you never use internet hmm nobody isn't it so you watch tv you use internet ideas are coming into your minds through television through internet so what am i saying am i saying that you should not touch internet no no not at all am i saying that you should not watch television no not at all what i am saying is every one of us gives far more than 15 minutes a day to television and internet combined isn't it if you average out the time that you spend a day on internet on television and on reading non biblical material or extra biblical material it's more than 15 minutes a day isn't it so what has happened to us our priorities have shifted and since our priorities have shifted we are giving time to media television is a medium of communication internet is a powerful medium of communication these media have claimed our time and we have given our, our attention and our time we have we have started giving unproportionate amount of times to these media and those media are through back door planting ideas into our minds that's exactly what the scripture says time will come when they would not be able to end your sound sound teaching and because they have itching ears they will they will collect unto themselves fables false teachings false doctrines false teachers so once again let me ask you am i saying that you should not watch tv no 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 not at all am i saying that you should not touch internet no not at all but i am definitely saying one thing and that is my young friends knowingly or unknowingly the media to which you are tuned and the media which is very highly present in your life is definitely